right. Um, so last thing I want to show you um, is on a uh, registration. So we talked about the registrations before, uh, but what's really cool um, is one feature that registrations uh, enable, um, which is trying to demonstrate uh, open practices, and we provide actual badges for these, and you've probably read about um, open practice badges, open access, or excuse me, open science badges before. Um, and so we capture those practices on the research registrations, the one document you started at the very beginning. Uh, so what's really neat is you submitted this at the very beginning, and then you went and um, developed a lot of data that might be on your OSF project, uh, like this one. Uh, might have code that was on GitHub that you've associated through add-ons to OSF. Um, and then you might have papers like the preprints that we just submitted uh, through that workflow. I can connect all of those through the, the DOIs to my registration, so the beginning of my uh, life cycle, uh, and then the end, all the way to the papers. Now, all of that is associated and together. Um, so when we sit, submit the metadata or update the metadata for this uh, registration document, it includes all of those relationships. Um, so if anybody were to discover this work, um, they can also discover all of these and cite them and use them. Um, and as much as possible, uh, enable the opposite as well. So papers, um, you know, formal publications may also collect your pre-registration information and then they've included the relationship in the other direction as well. Um, so lots of exciting possibilities there in terms of the discovery we talked about before and uh, the impact on your um, the the reading and using and citation of your work because all of those relationships are now available. Um, and I just have a little reference in here for those that are in the Google Doc version um, of what that looks like on the OSF. 